one of them are just not me. They want to serve their country. American bases have been targets of deadly violence before. I used to live there. Pensacola. But what happened on December 6, 2019 was different. Thursday night, he was getting ready to go to work. He called us, I love you. I remember this. Yep. Always. I love you, Dad. That was the last time they heard from Caleb as he reported to Building 633 for overnight watch. By early morning, Caleb, whose ship was winding down, was joined by Private First Class Cameron Walters, as many people across the base were just starting their day. Like then Airman George Johnson, a young father who had been in the Navy less than a year. I imagine for somebody devoted to Navy avionics, Pensacola is kind of Shangri-La. Right? <laughs> but it was the sound of freedom. Down the yeah. Hall, George Johnson my brother was living there. I, I lived there because of him. He was a drill sergeant, my brother. Around, and uh, Al Shamrani walks past. I love Pensacola. 21-year-old Mohammed Syed Al Shamrani was a second lieutenant in the Royal Saudi Air Force, part of a pilot training program. George immediately recognized him. I looked him dead in the eye. Looks dead at you. Looks dead at me. I tried to say hello, good morning. Not a word. Could you see that he was armed? He had a flight bag, and I couldn't see what was in it. He continues to walk on. I hear what sounds like a binder fall and hit the ground, a loud clap. The first shots were fired at the watch station, where Caleb mm. Watson and Cameron Walters were on duty. Both men were unarmed. Cameron Walters died first, and though badly injured, Caleb managed to provide law enforcement with a description of the gunman able to then shoot and kill Al Shamran. Mm. However, Caleb didn't survive, later succumbing to his wounds. Airman. When I see the Pilot. ones who did survive, that's because Caleb made it out of that building to get help. He saved those people. We knew that Caleb might make the ultimate sacrifice, but in Florida... You wouldn't expect it. From someone who came he was a Saudi Arabian office. training person that we were training. And it's hard to believe that this is supposedly our allies. That call for accountability, now part of a landmark lawsuit, hitting the 11 killed and wounded against one of the richest nations in the world. N n nothing right now is going to bring my son back. No, ma'am. Nothing's going to bring my, my son Sorry back. Sorry to hear that, ma'am. Due to... Somebody didn't do what they're supposed to do. Along with Caleb and Cameron, they did what they wanted. They probably, yeah, I ain't gonna go into that. <clears throat> the youngest casualty that day. He heroically ran in to help and was shot with his hands up saying, To be honest, our government knew that guy was gonna do that probably. Mother, you think Brady, I'm wrong? Along with Cameron's dad, Shane Walters, and the Watsons are now part of a club no one wants to belong to. That's Why right. Not proactive? How Lose your kids to terrorism. Get to the base. How did he even get into the program? He was invited. Al Shamrani had been in the United States for more than two years, taking part in a training program sponsored by the Pentagon, yep. a key piece of a security cooperation. All the terrorists were. Saudi Arabia. Never mind, I what forgot. What happened here was a terrorist attack. An individual that the whole 9/11 was done by the Saudis. Remember? This ain't no jokes. To that we're tired of it. Someone we could trust turned out to be otherwise. In the months after the terror attack, real cute, buddy. Reports laid out a stunning profile. You killed innocent of people, buddy. Who'd been in contact with Al Qaeda since 2015? Who joined the Royal Saudi Air Force in order to carry out a royal is the word operation? Still, the US we got royally screwed, didn't we? Ronnie concealed his plan, and that's why the system didn't flag him. Sure. The the, they just said he concealed his plan. FBI Listen. Was information that was stored on his mobile device and prior to that uncovering we did not in the u.s government uh see any indications of that those same go have 14 more drinks buddy that way you can pop all the way of red listen here y'all enough with the baloney resulted in sending a quote trojan horse terrorist into the united states 
that's all they do is train to kill over there, and this country does that, and we're best friends with this person. Look, the rich people, let them have their rich wars. Us poor people in the middle, we need to get together and stop fighting for these fools and stop doing this crap and save our own families. None of Trump's boys are going to be killed. Sorry. Suing the kingdom and demanding restitution. The U.S. government is... I don't think the Bushes went to war. I don't think the Clintons went to war. I don't think the Obamas went to war. John McCain supposedly went to war and was shot down, but I got people saying on the other side that's fake. So do what you want. Say what you want. The rich stay rich. The poor get poorer. And how much poorer can you get? Oh, you can lose your kid. That's how much poorer you can get. That's his blood-soaked uniform. Jesus Christ. Like this. Caleb Watson's torn and bloody uniform, like his now empty house, Jesus a source of Christ. connection for these grief-stricken parents. And she's lucky because a lot of parents don't even see their kids' clothes again. They just get burned. Or thrown in the dump over here in Virginia where they threw a whole bunch of remains from Iraq war. This is why sometimes I just stand right here and just hold on to it. I bet you do, buddy. I smell it. I feel it. I know that he is a hero, but I wish I'd never heard that word. I bet. I wish your boy was back. My, boy. my heart hurts. Every he went to Annapolis. I used to live by there, too. All my life. What I knew he would do. That's his house. They go and look at it whenever they want. I guess they still own it. <laughs> yeah, man, I have to tell you, this is sad, sad, sad. That boy got killed at a terrorist attack. And um, we'll just leave it at that, man. It's terrible to hear, terrible to see. And once we stop the violence, life will be a lot nicer.